All right, guys, we have a cool little demo that I thought you would enjoy. Uh, it's above and beyond, and there are easier, quicker ways to do it, but I figured I would show you the exact process and the exact steps behind it. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be bench testing, uh, basically just function testing, our Land Rover Discovery 1 injectors. These are, I don't know if they're made by Bosch, but it's a Bosch-style connector. This is a very, very common, almost universal style connector. And what I've done is I had a, I cut the, on the junkyard vehicle, I took the intake manifold and I cut the connectors off with it just because these are good spares to have. And I have one rigged up and they are isolated here. So we have our positive or our generally our colored wire to the positive for my power supply. And we have the brown, it does have a strip of orange, but brown is generally going to be your ground just about all the time. So in this case, with DC voltage from a power supply, it's going to be your return. So we have our negative hooked up there. I have the voltage set to exactly 12 volts here on my power supply. It's off, but I've got 12 volts. So I'm going to be, there's the cat, which is harassing me. So we've got our 12 volts. It's going to be steady there. And we are reading in amps. Reading in amps, DC amps. Oh, actually, you know what? Let me see. There we go. So standard DC. I select AC. It's not going to do much for me. DC amps. So this is a keyed connector, meaning it can only go on one way. This is, again, DC vol voltage, so the direction does matter. We have our positive terminal coming out of the power supply. Goes into our amp, DC amp input, which is fused for 10 amps max. And then it goes, the current is going to be read through the meter, out red, out to our injector. So where you're, when you measure voltage or resistance, you measure across the circuit, meaning you, you, you would use these two here and you basically take a measurement on top of it. With this one, you are actually running the current through the meter, which is why it's very uh, important that you keep it under 10 amps max. So what we're gonna do, just to be ultra mega safe, I have current all the way down, maxed out, or <laughs> bottomed out on the power supply. Power on. Remember I told you I set it to 12 volts exactly. So when I raise the current from zero up to wherever it stops, Now, if you see, if I raise this up, it doesn't matter because the injector is acting as a load and it's only consuming 0.7 amps. So now that you see it's a maximum of seven amps, go back down. Now let's go right to the injector. Listen very closely. That's a click. And I'll move, ah, I don't have the room to move it over here, but. Let's try. Be very careful not to bridge it. And my dog. Dog on cat wants attention. So, bottom out here. See how well the audio picks it up here. The power supply, we raise our current. So we're up at about 0.7 amps, 700 milliamps, 690 milliamps. So, off, closed open, closed, and open. So there you go. That's how you test an injector with a benchtop power supply reading current.